Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and this is Jake, and this is your weekly update. Make sure you post this on all your platforms. Jake, are you excited about this Sunday? I guess. Hey, this is going to be a long video. We got yes. a very important announcement, so do not turn away. What do you mean you're, you guess you're excited about this Sunday? I mean, What's I just, your deal? Scripture talks about not going to extremes, so I'm just kind of trying to stay stay in my lane, stay not get middle. too high, not get too low. Stay in the middle? Yeah. All right, Dave. Well, hey, listen, we got membership class coming up this Sunday. It's after the uh, 10, I almost said 11, after the 10 o'clock service. If you've been thinking about it, I've talked to several of you guys that have kind of been trying to figure out. Is but this, it's for ladies, too. You're only talking to guys about it. I, it's for several ladies, Several of you guys, including everyone. Uh, this would be a great Sunday for you to check it out. It doesn't mean you're a member. It just means you can kind of check out who we are, what the expectations are from both sides, what we believe, our mission, all of that good stuff. So make sure uh, you're here this Sunday. I'm wrapping up that series this Sunday. I know. I'm, does God care? I'm, uh, I'm a and then little they can bit the excited about it. Then, then they go to membership about it. So like, let, me, let me mention a couple other things, too. We've got fundraisers going on. Youth camps are coming up this summer. Preteen camps are coming up this summer. Kid Venture Live. All the things that are happening, we know that money is always kind of, you know, it costs money to do these things. So we've got several different fundraisers going on. Our student ministry is selling James Caldemeyer um, raffle tickets. I'm James, excited about this one. James Caldemeyer, Fisherman, Lake Forest. Yeah, he, he, he takes you out and shows you how to catch fish. I mean, winning souls for Christ. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? No, Jake, these Jesus are real said, fish. be these fisher are real of fish. men. And this James guy is going to show you how to uh -huh. do that. But so you got to learn how to catch fish first before you can catch men. See, and so he's going to teach you how to catch big old bass. I'm not into secular things, Edward. Uh, it, why do you golf? Oh, golf is spiritual. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Jesus. Thinking about doing a sermon Jesus series. Jesus fished. He didn't play golf. Thinking about doing a sermon series. So anyway, make sure Jesus you get signed breaks up. Twenty five dollars per raffle. And uh, whoever gets to do that gets to go fishing with him. He is a phenomenal fisherman. He loves Jesus. He's part of the I Am Second group. If you know anything about that, you can look him up and hear his story. So also, there's a 5K fundraiser going on uh, June the 12th. It's also a student-sponsored uh, event. It's $25 for entry. I'm actually going to enter that for my very you first told us 5K. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm a, and, I'm, uh, I guess I'm a little excited. So get, it, get signed up for that. There's also a children's ministry raffle going on, and they're going to be at the Chevron this Saturday. Is that what I understand? One of the Saturdays. I, I know it's coming up. They're going to be at Chevron, but you can, you can approach any of our children who has uh, those raffles. I heard a story yesterday that uh, one of our children, uh, someone in our community bought a hundred yeah. tickets, every one of their tickets yeah. from one kid. hundred bucks. Um, because their uh, grandchild got to go to preteen camp years ago and it changed their life and they so impacted. And so they wanted to pass that on. So I thought that was so cool. What a great story. You know who you are. Thank you for doing that. Hey, it's speaking of so life cool. change. Yes. That's a pretty good message you preach Sunday. It's fun. What do you think your big takeaway was from that message? Uh, this last Sunday, yeah. uh, I was really praying you'd get saved. Okay. That that was the big thing. Yeah. So when's the last time you felt the presence of God? Oh, uh, this morning. Yeah. Yeah, man, on my walk, it was good. So when God's di when God feels distant from you, you know why do you think that is? You, you had three. Scenario. I tell you, last night I was driving back from our mm -hmm. elders meeting, and I know you left a, left a little bit early because mm -hmm. you couldn't handle the fire yeah. that we were sitting around. And the the sunset. Did you see the sunset last yeah. night? It, dude, it was gorgeous. I mean, God just painted that uh, such a beautiful thing. So you don't think God ever? You don't ever feel distant from God? Well, sometimes, yeah. What do you think the reason yeah, sometimes, is? Sometimes it's my sin, my resentment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, man. Yeah. Hey, you know what I just did there? I facilitated small group questions based <laughs> off your sermon. <laughs> You see how easy that was? Listen, I think some of you think being a small group leader is like hard, like you have to have a seminary degree or you've got to have the Bible memorized backwards and forwards. Really, all you got to do is gather a group of folks together and facilitate questions, questions and, and start discussing mm -hmm. and starting to learn. Now, why do I bring this up? Because this summer, I'm going to be doing some small group leader development on three different Sundays during the summer, and I want to recruit some new small group leaders. And so I'm throwing that out there. I'm going to be making Facebook posts about it through the month of June. And so if that interests you at all, reach out to me. Yeah, definitely. And don't forget about student ministry. We're looking for some men to help us in that. 
Student Ministries go into a new format uh, on Wednesday night. We've been working on that and uh, excited about what that's going to look like. And so if you're interested in that, you can reach out to David or Jake and they'll get you connected uh, with that. So you ready to make big a big announcement? Big announcement that we're so excited about this. Yeah. For about three months now, the elders have been having a conversation with Jeff Masterson and Danielle Crouch, my wife. And as you know, those two have been leading our worship ministry over the last two years and have done an outstanding job. We hear so much from you guys about how much you enjoy them and see them develop. But one of the conversations we've had with them over the last three months is, is they felt like it was a time for us to transition to a new season in worship. And uh, both of those guys are volunteers. One of them's um, a gal. They're both volunteers, and uh, Jeff works a full-time job, Danielle's full-time mom, works a part-time job, and has a lot going on with our family and that kind of stuff. And so we began praying about what our next step was. And so we have been interviewing a young man that you already know, you're already familiar with. It's me. Uh, it's not Jake. No. He's still on schedule for the sixth Sunday of the no. month to sing. But anyway, uh, I, we digress. We come back on track. Um, a guy named Andrew and Lacey Marshall, a couple that we've known. They've been with us several times over the last two years. Uh, the elders have asked Andrew to come on our staff, to be a part of our worship team, to lead our worship team, all things on the stage, all things, uh, uh, anything that happens on Sunday morning with worship. Uh, he's gonna be starting on June the 6th, and we are so excited, Jeff and Danielle are so excited and uh, we sent out an email last night to all of our worship team and tech team letting them know that Andrew's coming and so we wanted to let you know we're going to be announcing this again Sunday it's it, it is really exciting to to think about what the next few years are going to look like with Andrew and Lacey and uh, we're excited to have them in our, our, on our staff we're excited to have them part of our church like I said they've been with us they fit our culture uh, we've put them through several assessments to, you know, just to make sure all the leadership stuff matches. And, and so be praying for them as they make that transition. It's a part-time position. It's not going to be a full-time position uh, at this time. And uh, they're going to be helping us on all of our leadership platforms as far as worship. And so really stoked about that. Uh, if you got any questions about that, you can reach out to any of our elders. You can reach out to Jeff uh, Masterson or Danielle. They're going to be leading worship together this Sunday as a celebration uh, of them and they, what they've done over the last two years. And again, I'm so grateful for them and uh, just their sensitivity to the spirit of knowing it's time for to make a transition. They're still going to be on the team. They're still going to be leading, and uh, it's, it's going to be fun to see how that develops. So. Uh, I know it's a long update. It's about seven or eight minutes, and uh, we just felt like we wanted to go ahead and share Got a lot this of stuff with you. Going. I tried to tell y'all last week, ministry ramps up during the summer. It does. So it lots does. to communicate, lots to talk about. And, and continue to be faithful in this summer as you're giving and uh, investing in the kingdom. Uh, we're excited. You got anything else today, man? I heard a funny story. You talk about giving. I heard a funny story. A guy was talking about on Easter Sunday, he puts his offering in a plastic egg and hides it for the pastor to find. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. So maybe next year, all you guys for could do that. You still do that though, right? Well, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, let me mention one more thing. I, I know the last four weeks we have been almost standing room only in the crowds. And, it's been and, good. And we were talking to, as elders last night as a team, and I told them, you know, when we were doing two services, I could get to everybody and, and give them a hug and, and love on everybody. And uh, I know that's kind of scary. What do you want to do again? Anyway, here, here's the deal. It, it, with all the crowd that's going on, be aware. You know, Scripture teaches us that we're to encourage one another, that we're to live at peace with one another, be of one mind. Um, and so look around. I know you all have your friends groups and who you hang out with, but look around and greet one another, hug one another. If they don't have a red sticker on, it's game on. And so uh, if they have a red sticker on, right there. Okay, and so just be aware of that as the crowds are bigger. We want to continue to be a warm church. We want to be a church that's welcoming. Uh, there's a lot of new people coming in every week. There's new faces in the crowd, so make sure you're looking for them. Make them feel welcome. Give them a hug. We love you. We'll see you at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. And uh, don't forget, share this on all your platforms. All right, you ready? Ready, Jake? Love you.